Hello there, welcome. Um, in this video, I would speak about BIOS lock, um, the kind of users that might not face problem with BIOS locks, and then and the kind of issues that BIOS lock creates and the some workaround to them. Now, to make things easier, first thing I'm going to discuss is the kind of users that shouldn't be impacted by the BIOS lock. I'm going to so, going to also briefly mention what BIOS lock is and. At the end, I'm going to discuss the issues BIOS lock might cause and some workarounds. So first of all, who who shouldn't have any problem with BIOS locked? The answer is most of the users. You know, if you're just going to use your computer, turn it on, you know, and even set yourself as up as an admin person, install any pro uh, program you want. Or the application you want uninstall anything you want add your own folders you know add your own peripherals like speakers mouse keyboard whatever you can do all of that even with bias locks so most people won't even realize the bias lock is on this pc in front of me for example um i bought this pc about half the price um half the price uh, than the market uh, average and i've been using it for months and months and i have installed the window myself and i have installed all other programs that i need for my business and for my work and um, i have added myself as the admin user and i've added some other users to it and it's just working fine okay i've never had to bother with bias locks so if you are like an user like that, then BIOS lock wouldn't cause any problem to you. Now, what is BIOS lock in case you don't know? But the BIOS lock is like a system admin tool where you can go ahead and turn certain uh, hardwares on and off. So let's say, for example, you could, uh, in, a, in certain Dell system, you can go into the BIOS and turn off some USB ports or turn off some hard drive ports or Wi-Fi, etc. Organizations usually do that, so they limit what you, what users can do with their PCs. <clears throat> so there are also things you can do in the BIOS, like some security features, turn on, turn them on and off. Uh, one of the important thing you can do with the BIOS is decide from which SSD, if there is more than one, system should boot from. Or you can even ask the system to boot from an external hard drive or external USB. If you have two different graphics card, in some systems, uh, you can go in the BIOS setting and ask which graphics card, excuse me, which graphics card you should use first. So you can do things like that, but obviously a normal user, an average user would not be bothered with this, so you should be in the clear if you're just a, an average user. But I'm mentioning this, before you go ahead and buy one of our systems, you should be aware completely that what the implications are. Now, what kind of issues a BIOS lock create? The very obvious one is, um, if the person that put the BIOS lock in before they put it on if they left every feature of the computer turned on then it wouldn't be any problem for you but if they left some features off that's where the problem might occur so when you buy a pc ask the seller is every port and everything in the computer is turned on um, for example I've, I've had some pieces where the wi-fi feature is turned off so only thing you could do is use an USB dongle the built-in Wi-Fi wouldn't work because to turn that off you would have to go into the BIOS which they didn't have the password for okay so that's number one very obvious issue but uh, you just have to be wary always ask the seller is everything turned on uh, the second issue it might create is as I said earlier on you can go into the system and then ask the system which ssd to boot from when you have more than one ssd now if you're using two different ssd and you want the system to boot from particular ssd at a particular time you don't get a choice 
The workaround is just use one SSD at a time and take the other out. It doesn't matter which slot you put it in, the computer will automatically detect it. And this also have another implication. If you want to do fresh installation, for example, so if you have a done fresh installation, it involves it telling the system to boot from an USB first, and then from the USB you copy the um, operating system into the SSD, and then you just follow the process and install the Windows. But since to do that, to ask the computer to boot from an USB, you need the BIOS access. Without the BIOS, you cannot do. Now, my question is, why would you do a fresh installation to begin with if you can reset the computer to factory settings? Okay, it does not make sense to me. So, that might be a non-issue for most of the people. But if you, if you do want to go ahead and do it anyway, the systems we sell, um, as a courtesy, we can provide services where you send us our SSDs and then we can copy the OS onto it and then you do the rest, the setups and stuff. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, there is a way around. Um, you have to take the SSD out in a different system where there is no BIOS lock, copy the OS onto it and then put that SSD back into the BIOS locked system and from there on you can just do, uh, do the usual setup no problem so these are the issues note where the issues the BIOS can cause BIOS lock so if you want to <clears throat> go ahead and buy one just decide it for yourself whether or not this is gonna be a deal breaker for you um, if you are watching this and if you, ha if you have a different sort of problem for the BIOS lock that I did not mention do go ahead and ask it or if you have any stories of yourself to share do share it so others can learn from it and thank you for watching do check our um, ebay accounts linked in the description below we do sell pieces um, most of the time well below the market price thank you so much